that flood leaking from? Oh, I guess that works on pressure. How that wastegate actuator works is uh, when at idle, at idle, there's very little air blowing out of there, not enough to actuate the wastegate actuator. Uh, but when you're starting to go down the road and you build up uh, more pressure on the compressor side of the turbo, it uh, pressures up the little nipple there and uh, pressures up the hose. And that, uh, that pushes on the rod and uh, that opens the wastegate. That opens the wastegate on the turbo. Uh, to keep the turbo from uh, overspinning, so that's that's set at a certain psi off of the turbo to open up and uh, relieve the pressure. So, uh, if you want to do a quick performance upgrade, uh, you never know. Maybe it won't really give you that much extra performance. It'll just uh, give you a, a little bit extra pressure when you're revving the snot out of it. Uh, then you just take that off and then you put a, a nipple over there that's not going to blow off. You have to withstand, uh, you know, like uh, probably 5 psi, something like that. I don't think this uh, turbo pressure's up very high. And then uh, then uh, your wastegate won't open when you're, when you're giving it, giving it the beans. And then uh, you may get a little bit extra power out of that. So that's probably why this car goes a little bit better than the other one. This hose is leaking, so the turbo is on all the time. But it also means that I'm losing boost. So I'm gonna put a, a good hose clamp on there and then that thing's not gonna blow off. I might give it a little snip too, just so it's a little bit farther down. So there's one item to fix right there, the wastegate uh, actuator hose. And uh, I'm still working my way to pull that EGR out.